<laughs> All right, people, now it's time for the daily top five, and I have a few questions for you. Have you ever wondered what could give you an edge over a main co-worker, for instance? Or what could make you an exciting friend or date? No worries, because again, as usual, the entire team have come up with five psychological tricks that can make your daily social and personal life easy. Why? Just because it's daily top five. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's Watch go. me. All right, so the first thing you need to do is stay calm when someone raises their voice at you. Learn the art of remaining calm, still calm, and don't feed into their anger. Trust me, it can be hard, though, because, hmm, may God help all of us, so, so try to take a mental step back to reassess the situation before reacting, okay? Just try. <laughs> this is something that I have, I can relate to. Like, ah. I have been working on this, for the longest, and uh, I'm getting better. I will give you back. Okay, we are supposed to see yeah, a psychological trait. So, so I'm supposed to learn how to do this. Yes. Hmm. So when I say, oh, Jay, why are you abusing us now? I'll just... Uh, yeah, you just go. You're not going to say I will shout back, but yeah, we shouldn't shout back. It's not yeah. easy. It's yeah. not easy At because... All. Yeah. Everybody gets stressed. With yeah. Yes. Like, everybody gets onto me the stress out. Not disrespect so you. In that situation, all I do is uh. I just take a walk. I just mm. leave that scene. Because if I keep staying there and you're mm -hmm. through, I, mean, I have my own stress already. Ah, uh, well, let's, let's just respect each other. Okay. Okay. We'll try. <laughs> I will try. <laughs> all right. So the second one is write down your thoughts when you feel stressed or anxious. Mm. Write down your thoughts in a journal and then close it up. Believe it or not, you will be able to focus on your work more easily because you now shared your thoughts and realized your feelings. Yeah, yeah writing down thoughts actually helps, especially with uh, people who procrastinate and forget things. Mm -hmm. So when you write down your thoughts, you can move on because you know that you can always go back to check what you wrote down. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, if you move on and you feel like, oh, you're carrying this burden. You're doing something. You can't focus. You're thinking about something else. Mm. But you having it somewhere makes it easier and better for you. I even, I even like the idea that, that it's, it's not necessary. You need to have like a, a pad and yeah. pen to jot something down. You can just jot something. Like There's a notepad on virtually every yep. yeah, all phones right now. So you can just yeah. scribble things down and just, yeah, just write something. Yeah, that's what I do, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. All right. Next thing you can do is uh, to know that the right posture can boost confidence. If you allow yourself to take up more space, you're likely to feel more confident because it can drastically improve your dating life even and your marriage, as well as helping you move up the ladder at work. Mm. Confidence is key. It is. Any day, any time. Every Always be confident. Yeah, you get the girl that you want. Just like his and you get the job you want. Okay, you mm. get the job you want. Yes. Forget that girl that you're seen on Instagram and you think, oh, no, no, no. Slide into a DM. Be confident. Slide into a DM. Ask yeah. her out. Take her out. My but brother. yeah, people like you confident people. Don't go people. Don't take her out, though. People like confident people. <laughs> yeah. And it attracts attention. When you walk into a room and you're confident, just... your charisma and your air alone makes all the eyes and next turn like, who oh, that? Why are you closing your eyes while you're talking about this? Thing? Uh -uh. What are you imagining? <laughs> okay, so moving on. <laughs> Make people feel needed when you ask for help. Mm. This simply means people like to feel needed when they feel... It's feeling guilty. So by starting off the conversation with, I need your help, please, you are likely to receive the help you need. But some people get coconutted. They won't even say, I need your help, please. They'll say, oh, me too, I need help. They'll not even let you land. And yeah, but it's, 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 it's a way to just pacify the person and say, please, First, yeah. I'm coming with With clean, yeah, on my bed. I'm not coming is, with, yeah. with pride, pride and say, yeah. No, 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 please. Think, so it helps pacify them. I, I, I think a whole lot of Nigerians are on this table. Yeah. Because if you want to even ask for something that doesn't need, I beg. What's I beg? I beg. Waiting, be the, I beg. Yeah. We always use that. Yeah. I beg, I beg, yeah. please. And same kind of Nigerian. Oh, you even need my help. Yeah. Yeah. That's when you're not before me. What well, I beg, waiting, be the time. Okay, I found. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it always works. Yeah, always, always works. works all day, anything. All right, and the final thing that you can do is to look into someone's eyes when you get a dissatisfactory answer. Mm. You know, this will make the person feel under pressure or cornered, and this will force them to further elaborate their thoughts instead of repeating the question or asking another. If you go through something like this next time, look into the eyes of the individual, okay? So, J. Paul, if I say J. Paul, I want <laughs> a pastor. <laughs> 
This is not working, no. It's not, it's, it's, it's not working. It's not work. So if you tell me no, <laughs> I'm supposed to look straight. Look into back, your eyes. yeah. Like, like, are you mm -hmm. sure? Well, I'll try. I'll try. Be by... No, <laughs> I'm not your boyfriend. It did not work. Oh. No. Hey, <laughs> who put me with these two men? It did not work. But uh, in some situations, especially when you're not begging, when you need help, like at work and stuff, it could work. Ah, yes, the person will just point you in the right direction because yeah. they're also busy. Yeah. So, yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it on Daily Top 5. We'll be back with True Syndrome Monday. Stay here with us.